Good day guys, welcome back to another episode. Firstly, I just wanna say thank you so much for all the support I've been getting lately. All the new t-shirts, so many have already sold. All the support, over 750 subscribers on YouTube now, and we're into the thousands on Instagram, so thanks so much for all the support. But this episode's something a little bit different. Something I've always wanted to do, but never really tried. But what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be explaining to you guys how I go about hunting Red Emperor, which are my favorite fish to hunt. I'll be showing you some clips of me out diving, talking you through where I find them, how they behave, you know, what to look for, and showing you some clips and explaining them along the way. So a different style of video for me, but I hope you enjoy it. When searching for a spot that might hold Red Emperor, I always start by looking for a good show of structure and fish on the bottom. Once you're in the water, often Red Emperor will be sitting just off the reef, or at least be just out of your vision. In this clip, as you can see, there is a multitude of fish life on the bottom, including coral trout, big Chinaman cod, and a nice rocky bottom with some sand, which is where the reds love to sit. As I hit the bottom here, I flatten out, start looking around for some red emperor, and I notice a few smaller ones swim into my vision. As I keep swimming around, a big red emperor swims just in front of me, and I get a little bit excited and take a kick towards it, and it spooks. It does a little half turn and then presents itself again for a nice shot. My heart was racing after this one. In this next clip, unfortunately I didn't turn my GoPro on until I hit the bottom and noticed how many fish there were. If I'm diving a spot, trevally, big chinaman and also glassfish, which are a certain type of bait, are a pretty good telltale sign that red emperor are not too far away. On this drop, I only turned my GoPro on because I saw those three telltale signs and thought, hmm, I might see a red emperor here. And that's exactly what happened. I hit the bottom and waited patiently and a nice red emperor floats on in to see what all the commotion is about. Next drop is Matt's turn to potentially shoot his first Red Emperor. As he takes his first dive down, I follow him with the GoPro in my hand. Matt starts swimming and heading across to the reef where he has spotted a very nice sized Red Emperor. But unfortunately, he doesn't have enough air to hit the bottom and have a full dive, so he heads back to the surface. I carry on to have a look around, and as you can see, the Red Emperor are sitting just off the ledge on the sand, and all the rank and cod are sitting up on the reef. There was a lot of bait, a sea snake, some coral trout, and a lot of Red Emperor. In this next clip, Matt makes no mistakes. He swims down and gets a nice holding shot in his first ever Red Emperor. Woo! 
Here is Matt showing off his beautiful red emperor, which he took home for his family. It's always good fun putting someone onto their first fish of a species, especially when it's a red emperor. There we go guys, that is the end of another episode. Hope you enjoyed that one, something different, but thanks very much for watching. I can't thank you guys enough for supporting me, everything you do. Um, just a little different clip there, just on hunting reds. So hope you guys get something out of it and good luck out in the next adventure. Yeah.